what's up everyone thanks for clicking on this video that's why I first want to say second thing I want to say is don't blame me for this series that's all now let's get to what we were going to talk about I'm pretty sure some of you know about the app Randonautica uh, if you don't I'll give you a quick rundown uh, Randonautica is an app where you put your attention in you know, you pick like three of these things and then you put your attention in and the app tries to take you to a random spot of the thing that you are thinking about it might not be big it might be small it might not be small it might be big you know either way your attention's out there well you see there is a problem with that app there is I know because well I was working on it at first. I don't know if uh, many of you remember this, but I made a video uh, probably a half a year ago or something telling people, just making a quick four minute video of me saying like, if you, if, if the world ever creates a brain chip so we can go on Google through our minds and see it through our eyes or something like that, I want to be the first one signed up to it for free. I'll do it for free. I'll be the tester for free. The reason why I made that video is because I was getting into AI, I was getting into AGI, and those like artificial intelligence for AI, artificial general intelligence for AGI, just artificial intelligence, you know, robot intelligence, like robot brain. That's why I was thinking. That's that's why I got into it. It's pretty interesting stuff. I thought. Um, so I got into it. I looked up all it back when like Sophie the robot. I don't know if many of you remember or even heard about her, but yeah, they they are working on an AI robot right now, trying to make it perfect, and so far they're doing a pretty good job. I mean, this AI robot, Sophia, has a uh, actual birth certificate or something as an Islam woman. Like, she went to Islam, and the, the Islam people actually gave her a piece of paper that said that she was a human female because she was smart enough for it uh, so yeah so that's of course that made me even more intrigued in the thing so I started looking into it I started you know seeing what I could do what kind of AI I can create or even if I could even try to create an AGI that would be even amazing uh, so I got into looking into it even deeper uh, looking up the like how did they make uh, self-playing chess games on the first computers and stuff like that and then I mean it started to make a little bit sense like how to make a computer think for itself but at the same time it's a lot of work it is a lot of work but that's the thing you see so they they want me to work on this app Randall Nautica and I was working on it I was putting a lot of work into it and then it crashed my PC out of nowhere too it just like it was weird it was very random <laughs> like for the app but the app it had nothing to do with I don't think the app had nothing to do with it honestly I think this was a human crashing the PC and then a week later well hold on let me give you the full story while I was working on this app I kept getting messages from these app developers that wanted the app done and they were telling me we'll pay you this much and the next week they tell me they would pay me even more double the amount then the next week they tell me they would pay me triple the amount it came up to the point where it was like five hundred thousand dollars they wanted to give me just to release this app to them so they can put it out to the public but the thing was it wasn't ready it wasn't tested on it wasn't and especially when it crashed my PC it made it harder to work on because it made everything slow down and so I was trying my best like at first I was making it really good like basically it has a baby brain and then I was trying and then I got through kindergarten and then once it got to kindergarten the PC crashes and I had to work super even harder just to get back on the PC just to keep on working on it just to keep on developing its brain basically but I didn't get that time let's see when I got the email about the 500,000 I was like you know you guys can uh, this is what I told you guys can offer me as much as you want the matter of fact is 
I don't want my name put on something that's not safe for the public. That's what it comes down to. If it was safe, if it was tested, if I knew how it worked, if if I knew how it was supposed to work, then if it was working that way, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind at all. I would even I wouldn't even probably take probably twenty five bucks for it because it would have my name on it. That'd be good enough. But that's not what happened. What happened was the cops came and seized all the computers and they well here I'll show you the computer that has the random knock app on it I don't keep it in my room anymore because I feel like it's bugged real badly yeah they um when they gave it back they tore off the back piece I guess that's like a sign to let me know it's broken there's no point of trying it no more but that hard drive that hard drive I think I can revive it one of these days will I? You know, probably not. I probably just take the hard drive and put it on the shelf as if it's a memorabilia. Honestly, I don't want to revive it. I don't know what they've done to it. They probably done some dirty stuff to that computer. But yeah, cops come and seize the computers. It took them three to four weeks after the seize. Now, they had a BS reason, of course. So with that BS reason, I thought. Sorry, the camera died, but um, we're back. And I could finish what I was saying. So the police came, seized all the computers, even the camera. In fact, that's why I think this camera is a little bit messed up. I only could record 5 minutes for every 20 minute charge. Or 25 minute charge. That doesn't add up. That doesn't add up. They probably screwed up this camera too. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. But, um. Yeah, let me just finish off. So, uh. Police came by saying that something about a terrorist threat a terrorist threat me of all people come on now and after they took the computers and everything for three weeks it which made me wonder you know three weeks is a long time two weeks is a long time to check through my my computers because there's not much on those computers there's not there's not really a lot that's just the things I'm working on because the things I'm not working on gets deleted so yeah, there's not really, there, it shouldn't have took them four weeks. But then it made sense when they gave it back and it was broken. And when they also gave it back. I mean, actually, the last time I got a message from these um, creators of the Randonautica, it was the last message, you know. Once they offered that 500000 and I didn't take it, that was it for them. They were done with me. But they still got the app. Now, yeah. They released the app without, you know, testing it, without letting it be finished. It's an unfinished app. Now, you'll probably hear people, you've probably seen videos and heard people say that never picked up a camera before, let me remind you. And just to get in on the, you know, just to get in on this, they would say, oh, I've been using Randonautica for 10 years now, and so and so. I don't know if it was made this year, let's be honest. But, um, but yeah, these people, it's up to you, you know. You could choose to believe them, or you could choose not to believe them. They said it without any context. They said it just to say it. Why? So you guys would still use the app. See, when I was creating the app, my, the main goal of it was it actually to be a game. It wasn't meant to be an exploring well yeah it was meant to be an exploring game but there's there was supposed to be an end to it people weren't supposed to keep on keep on using it see they didn't want an end to it because that way they can make it out for money that's why you have to pay for it now or after you use it so much you gotta pay for it it was never supposed to be like that you were supposed to find an answer and the answers consisted of um, your spirit animal, uh, things that you could find, items you could find that tell you more about yourself. Uh, you know, they're just answers for yourself. They weren't meant to be used for entertainment value. They wasn't meant to be uh, made a series out of. It was basically... Um, I don't know if you guys seen this episode 
but uh there's this one episode where uh in the simpsons and family guy where they go to a betting casino they lose all their money and then at the end of the episode they go on the spirit guide that's what the that's what the point of the app was supposed to be uh you being taken on a journey by a spirit guide that's what it was supposed to be and you just get an answer and that'd be it now people without an ending to it with people thinking hey, everyone's spirit animal is now or something um there's no end to the game it's just going to keep on going people are going it's a treasure hunt that never ends it's not even geocaching it's not and now that they put it out there without testing put it out there without fully done it makes it a playground for hackers and that's why you're seeing so many stalkers pop up on this these videos is because they know they know it's a playground for them they know they won't get in trouble for it hacking this app and they know it's easy to do so they'll keep on doing it. and that's what's to remember people okay you're not the only one getting these points to go to it was supposed to be made like that it was supposed to be made you were the only one you weren't supposed to have a camera you weren't supposed to bring a friend you were supposed to go find yourself but but yeah people change it too much well they just decided to use it when it wasn't done it's not the people's fault you know it's not it's the people that put it out there not preparing the people for what's what it's about you know it's an unfinished app it's not safe because it's like you're being guided by a little child Ch children don't know any better they when it comes down to it yes they'll know not to go run into a fire but when it comes down to it they also don't know how that fire starts so they just might start the fire that's what I'm trying to tell you guys this app it was supposed to be more so those who are using it still just remember that's you're in a construction site it's not fully built yes you got power of magic but you're in a construction site you're not in a building where it's safe it suck to see these things to collapse on people while they go adventuring but you know it is what it is people are gonna make their own choices and you can't stop that it is part of life